Hello everyone, in this video I will show you how you can get your Wi-Fi password using command prompt in Windows. First we need to open elevated command prompt by simply clicking on the start or Windows key on your keyboard and then type CMD. And then right click on command prompt run as administrator. Click yes. And then we need to type the following command. Netch wlan show profile. This will show all your Wi-Fi profiles that currently is stored on your system. Press enter. So these are all the Wi-Fi names currently saved on this computer. Let's say we want to get the password for the Frontier 2528. So we need to type the following command. Netch wlan show profile name equals the name of your Wi-Fi and then key equal clear press enter so here we can see the name of the wi-fi your service set identifier name and here you can see your password now let's say i want to get the password for another wi-fi so i type this to see the profile names again let's say this time i want to get the password for the wi-fi name called iphone so just simply type the following with the name iphone and then enter. I enabled my personal hotspot on my phone and I called it iPhone. I did connect and let's see the password. So this is the name of the SSID name, the name of the Wi-Fi and this was the password. Now let's say if we tried any of these commands and we get any error message, we want to make sure the WLAN autoconfig services is running. If it's not running, we can just simply go to the services console. So from command prompt, we can just type services.msc and then enter. It should open services console. We want to scroll down and look for WLAN autoconfig. We want to make sure the status is in running mode. If it is not running, we can just simply double click or right click properties and then making sure the startup type is automatic and then click start. Also we can go to the dependencies tab and we want to make sure all the dependencies services also running. For example remote procedure call or windows connection manager. Let's click OK and the remote procedure call we can go to the R section it's alphabetic order by name here. So remote procedure call and it's running as well. So again, we want to make sure the WLAN autoconfig is running. Then we should be able to run these commands. Now if you are using Mac, we can use the terminal window to get the Wi-Fi password. So first we want to open the spotlight by pressing command space and then we can type terminal to open the terminal window and at the command prompt we can simply type the following command security find generic password wa and here should be your wi-fi name then we need to type the username and your password and then we can press enter and if you are using linux you need to open the shell prompt you can simply press ctrl alt keyboard shortcut and then it should open the shell prompt. Then you need to type the following command to see all your network names. And then you can press enter. And then you need to type the following command. Here you are typing the network name. And then enter. You should be able to see your Wi-Fi password on Linux. Also we can use the following steps if you're using Ubuntu. So first we want to open the terminal and we want to type the following command. And then press enter. This command will change your current directory location to this new location, which it contains all your Wi-Fi profiles. Then we need to type ls space minus a. And here you can see all the names of your Wi-Fi that currently is stored on your system. Then you need to type the following command. And of course, 
this Wi-Fi SSID name is the name of the Wi-Fi you saw on the previous steps. So when you type ls space minus a, you can see all the Wi-Fi names. Then you can type sudo space cat space and one of the Wi-Fi name you want to get the password for. Then on your terminal window, you will see the following output. You need to look for this PSK equals and this should be your password for that Wi-Fi you entered on step 3. This is also another way to find Wi-Fi password on your Ubuntu system. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up. If you have any question, please leave it in the comment section. And if you haven't subscribed to this channel and you want to see more tech videos like this, please subscribe to this channel. Thank you so much and have a good day.